This morning we're doing a special workout down at the track. Happy Friday, by the way. We just finished this workout given to us by our friend Amber. It was like sprinting around the track, push-ups, running up those bleachers. You can see Caleb over there is not doing so hot. Squats, lunges. You saw me cheating, don't say anything. <laughs> Caleb, say? how you feeling? Oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> Memory, how you feeling? <laughs> Seriously, audience, there may be a time or two, and maybe I didn't give my total best, <laughs> but you can understand, surely you, who are watching this from sitting down. So I just took a shower, and then I walk out, and look, right there. Thalia left me a raspberry on the banister that she picked from the garden just for me. And she brought it up there and delivered it and set it there. I love that kind of stuff. Mm. Thank you for the raspberry. <gasps> Good morning! I'm procrastinating right now. I'm supposed to start writing 15 minutes ago, but I'm gonna start in five minutes. And today I'm supposed to write the intro of my book. I'm a little bit nervous, but I think it'll be good. It's hard stuff facing these projects. Oh, Lily, don't do it. Hey! <laughs> And um, she said, well, you just don't believe him. And she went in. How many and Papa have that book? Like Albert and Papa. Time to go to work. The first thing I want to say is if we do a really good job with Shabbat cleanup, I'll take you guys to the Thai restaurant for lunch. Since you guys are paired up, I'm gonna appoint a leader for each of the pairs that is in charge, okay? That you guys need to listen to. And naturally, it's gonna be the oldest person in the group, okay? Mm. So with Dove and Seven, Dove is in charge, okay? Which means Seven, you need to listen to Dove. Your jobs are the kitchen, the rat cage, the guest bathroom, and one little laundry. All right, we are getting ready to go to the Thai restaurant. Aren't we, buddy? We're gonna walk, because it's not very far. I finished my writing today. I felt really good about that, and now I'm going out to lunch with my parents. And later we have our counseling appointment. And then Shabbat. Here we go, yo. Lunch, guys. Good. Yeah. Let's try tea. Was good. Yeah. We had a good lunch. We're heading home. All right, let's go. I know, right? You guys are quite the spectacle when you're walking around. I know. I kind of realized that. I wish we could become friends with these people. 
I don't know if you can tell, but there's a pool there. Good timing. Ben just got back. First. <laughs> We're on our way to counseling. We're late, which isn't a good thing. <sighs> hey, look at that guy. Yeah. I love like old it. people. I love old people wearing short shorts and that shirt. <laughs> I feel like I have so much to talk to your counselor about, um, but I'm not really supposed to be the one talking. <laughs> uh, I'm supposed to be observing. Um, so I'm going to try to keep my mouth shut unless I really feel like I need to say something. We just walked out of our counseling appointment. <laughs> my head, like, it feels like it's gonna explode. But it was like really overwhelming. It's like he's speaking a language and I like know that it's a language, but I can't understand. I know it's right what he's saying, mm -hmm. but it's just like this whole realm I've never tapped into. He was talking about the ways that I overstep bounds and kind of take responsibility for other people. But I don't even know I'm doing it. In that you take responsibility for how other people experience you in an unhealthy way. Like instead of saying, I'm sorry you experienced me as an asshole, you say, I know, I'm sorry, I'm such an asshole. And we don't even realize that you're doing it. But what our counselor was trying to do was trying to show us where that person starts and where we end. Does that make sense? What he was saying was right. And it, I was like trying to soak it in because I felt like as soon as we stepped out of his office, I would forget. Man, it's Shabbat tonight. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Now that we're done with counseling, we have a few things we need to pick up here from the uh, store. Our baby's a little heavy, so... <laughs> oh, but he's cute! <laughs> Now we're heading home. Nice. Mm -hmm. Hey! Oh, he has the sun in his eyes. Oh, Bye. I'm so sorry. Don't worry, I'll turn. I'll turn. We just got back. It's 4:30, so we have about an hour and a half before Shabbat. I've got to do a couple things. One is I've got to change someone's door. One of my renters that lives on this block. The reason is, is because when the last people moved out, they gave me the key, and then I took that key and I set it somewhere. Yeah. Where? I have no idea. And that one key, misplacing it, just cost me like 80 bucks. So I gotta now install a whole new door handle. <clears throat> okay, I am done with installing that whole thing. I'm sweating like crazy, it's super hot. This, I'm gonna go put in my key place now. Now it's time for the big job. I wanna show you something, come here. The house we just bought, there's a ton of bugs in here. Check this out. When I open the door, you can see them scurrying everywhere. Ready? Do you see that? Look at that. Do you see all those? Look at all those. They're everywhere. See, they're just like all over crawling on the floor. When I just like, I stepped in there the other day, just on the hardwood. 
I didn't go inside and my legs were covered in fleas. So we're gonna take care of it right now. But I had to put on my pants and my boots so the fleas don't get on me. Look, it says these things take care of scorpions. My plan is to be in the house as short as amount of time as possible. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spray this everywhere around like all the edges, and then I'm gonna put one of these like bomb things in each room. This stuff seems like super disgusting to me. It's like poison, but the bugs are like, really out of control and I don't know another way to deal with it. I can't even go in the house without getting fleas. Do you see all these like, see all those? These little fleas are all over me. See, there's another one. They're, they're all over. Ugh. Oh my gosh. I just got done. Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> I just got done with a shower. Hello. And I think I got most of the fleas off me. That was really That's intense. How. I bet it was. It's Friday, which means it's Shabbat. That means that we rest for the weekend from the vlog and from all work tomorrow and most of our activities, we stay home as a family. There's a lot that's kind of up in the air with our family right now, with relationships and work. Um, and for me, it's nice to know that we rest once a week, no matter how well we feel like we worked or how much we finished or, you know, seven days, every seven days comes no matter what. Whether it's good days or bad days, it just comes. And yeah. it helps me. I don't think I would rest if, it, if I didn't have to. I know, I like was cleaning my room and I only got like a quarter of it done. And then I was like, I gotta stop. I mean, I just got, and, but, and that's frustrating, but then it's also, there's some relief in that. Um, big week, we're not gonna recap at all because we got a bunch of people waiting behind us, yeah. as you can see. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, a lot of people say we hope you do good work, but we hope you guys have good rest uh, as well. So, hey guys, do you guys want to help us by saying Shabbat Shalom? Mm -hmm. All right, one, two, three. Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom! Shalom. We didn't roast coffee. We, I don't know. We don't have enough for tomorrow? I don't even think we have a full French press, but I'm not sure on that. Maybe we do, but. Might be. Don't concern yourself. We will take care of this. We might be making our kids work tonight. <laughs>